Hey guys, Todd coming at you from the dirt. Uh, we're up here at Berwyn above the lake and uh, was wanting to try this last year. This is high rock. I think it's high rock, but uh, I'm not in that good a shape and I'm kind of apprehensive about starting up this. I watched a few videos on it. Uh, I'm curious where it comes out at on the other side. I see everybody going in, but I don't know if they're coming out on the other side somewhere. Whether I can get up there, I don't know, because everything I've seen has been on side-by-sides. But uh, I'm out of shape, and I might be making a bad move right here, but we can always turn it around and come back off here if we can't make it. So... Uh, Still getting used to this 252. Uh, I notice it does have a lot less torque than the 450, which it might help me. I don't know. We'll just have to see. So we're going to get up this and give it a shot and uh, see what happens. Probably ought, to, probably ought to ride a little bit more, get in better shape, but that's what I wanted to do today. And... Uh, you know, I'm more ride warrior, but you guys have seen me film warrior time and time again. So I'll try to get something new. Try. Stay tuned. Alright guys, I've not... Uh changed any of the suspension settings on this bike uh, on the 450 i think i went three clicks two or three clicks out on rebound because it was deflecting off rock so bad so i have no idea what this kyb suspension is going to do right here uh, i don't know how harsh it is or or what we may go down real quick right here i don't know but we're going to give it a shot. <sighs> don't really, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Let's have to give it a shot and see, I guess. Too big a deal out of it. Now, there is some more steepness up here, I know. I've seen it on the videos. We're just gonna take it easy, guys. Give it a look. Uh, I've got a lot of ruts here. I get you. That's so good so far. All right. Uh, something I did notice is a, a lot of mud up here. Just chug along for now. Oh man. Alright. I didn't flame out right there. Usually, probably on the 450, I would have. So, that's a good thing. Oh, find that right there. Ah. 
there we go. I let her down easy though. All right, we back on her. See so we can ride this rut back up out of here. I seen the guy, he stayed left handed right here on the video. neutral right when I didn't want to. I was going for first. I was getting steeped out right there too. I messed my rhythm up all up. A big rock right here. Man. I don't know if I'll get pulled out good or not. I'll just make another run at it. To get stopped like this is Really mess you up. If I hadn't false neutraled it, that was pretty tough. Pretty tough little section. I have to be careful if I got to go back down that. All right. I know we got a few more things out through here to look out for. pretty good I you know so far well we got a big mud hole here don't ever know when the bottom's gonna drop out of them all right another mud hole mud hole. I know it probably ain't too bad. Another mud hole. Not bad. I don't think these are too bad. I, I don't think. in the woods I guess I should be because I rode more woods Whew, motocross is too rough man too hard it demands your attention the whole time all right we got ruts right here Let's stay in it got here all right here's where we cut down this is rutted real bad so we want to stay in the rut stay in it stay in the rut get out of this rut you wrecky all right what we got here 
gonna switch sides maybe get on this rut ain't no rut here hardly now Back there, cut, had a road cut, cut up. Right here's where it comes out. Let's check it out, maybe. It's pretty steep. A little shortcut, maybe. I got me a wind sock put on this mic. Uh, the last video probably sounded pretty windy. So I hope it helps. I was trying to figure out how to get it to stay. I just put a little wire tie around it. So that seemed to work pretty good. That's, that one's a little deeper. That one was a little deeper. That was a road cut down back there. I don't know where it goes. Whoa, that's deep. Whoa, here's that big old hill. Okay, let's get her. This ain't it. It's on down here, I believe. It looked a lot steeper on the video. Now, you're going to see this in super view, so on mine, it ain't going to look that steep. Yeah, I'm going to have to be careful right here. Because the way it's sloped, it's going to slope me down into, into those rocks. If I don't watch. So... That to be real easy out right here. I guess I'll just go. Ah, that's a lot better than pity patting, guys. A lot better than pity patting. That was steep. I'll never get back up that so I hope I hope this comes out somewhere else. I don't know where these other roads go. It's cutting different places here. Alright. Oh we're here. We're here. This is it. There's the flag. There's the flag. See if we can get over to it without wrecking over there too. We got a big branch we gotta go over. It might be easier to go over here and cut through. I wanna go over that, that's for sure. a high rock and it's a high rock Up here, if you're scared of heights, I don't want to fall off her. Whew, wouldn't be good to nail it right here, would it, boys?
easier than the 450. I don't think I would have made it up here as easily on the 450, if at all. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Well, let's take a break, guys, and get the helmet off and take a breather, man. Check this out. I'm going to switch this over to linear because it ain't going to give you a good, very good view like this. All right, guys, I got switched over to linear mode, so I won't have that bent angle. Puts everything out there so wide. This is what distorts the hill climbs and make them, they makes them seem like they're not as steep. And then you come here and you're like, oh my God, you know. So that, you know, that happens a lot. So I may try to give you this linear view a little bit more stop and give you an idea of a little bit of difference uh, between the, the camera angles because they can be deceiving. Uh, the super view, it's good for action, uh, making the viewer feel like they're on the machine with you but uh, other than that it's it, it's deceiving on the terrain but uh, we'll get down here let's take a look at this I'll try not to fall off here make sure we ain't got no snakes crawling around here now guys you see the road down there, the railroad tracks. That's 16 uh, going toward Bishop, Virginia. Be heading toward over to Tazewell that way. I've got you that road many a time on the street box vlogging. And uh, yeah, just trying to be extra careful here. These boots, they make you a little clumsy. So, so check that out. That's about the best, one of the best scenic views I've ever seen. Awesome. Awesome. Oh man, it'd be bad to, bad to fall off here. It's the heights making me dizzy. There's the other side of the cliffs. Beautiful though. I'm glad I come up here now. I just about, I just about didn't come. Thought I wasn't ready. And really, I darn near wasn't. If I'd have been on the other bike, I, I wouldn't. It literally makes you dizzy standing here. Well guys, this has been my ride to the High Rocks. Uh, it's near War West Virginia. This is on the Outlaw Trails, near the Warrior Trail System. Uh, Outlaw Trails ain't part of the uh, Hatfield and McCoy Trail Systems. This is a uh, off-the-grid trail, but it provides the most scenic view out of any of the trails around. But uh, stay tuned to the next video as I come off the other side in the war.